Greetings and thank you for joining us on Hope Adventist News. I'm Nana Kusiobuache and headlines for this week, Ghana Adventist Choir Union launches its 50th anniversary celebration. Northern Ghana Union Conference hosts 2024 Shepherdess International Retreat. Our Shisarunde Adventist Church unveils anniversary logo for their 30th anniversary celebration. This and many other stories will be coming your way right after this video. Welcome back from the break. If you just joined this is Hope Adventist News. Now to our very first story. Ghana Adventist Choir Union, Gaku, has launched its 50th anniversary celebration at Sunyani Senior High School, marking five decades of harmonious melodies and community impact with their theme, Reaching the World Through Sacred Music. This serves as a testament to the enduring power of sacred music in uplifting communities and spreading messages of hope, peace, and divine love. Amidst anticipation and excitement, choirs from various Northern Ghana Union Conference rooms gathered at Sunyani Senior High School to kick off the festivities. This set the stage for a soul-stirring event filled with melodious tunes and heartfelt reflections. Nana Osaberima Isiedu Kuti II, representing Doma Hine, welcomed attendees with a potent message emphasizing the profound role of sacred music in glorifying God and fostering unity within communities. His words resonated with the audience, setting the tone for a memorable celebration. <laughs> Honorable Justina Owusu Banahine, Bono Regional Minister, took the stage to highlight the transformative power of music as a vehicle for healing and divine communication. Drawing parallels to biblical stories, she underscored the importance of using music to spread messages of peace and harmony. In a goodwill message, Prof. Chin Nana Opoku Ajiman, representing His Excellency John Tromani Mahama, the esteemed former president of Ghana, emphasized the universal language of music in proclaiming God's message and fostering inclusivity within musical communities. <laughs>
Elder A. A. Ajiman, GACO Chairman, expressed joy at the successful launch and anticipation of the Grand Anniversary Celebration in November or December next year. Mr. John Obin Mensah, GACO Music Director, echoed this sentiment, affirming the choir's commitment to excellence in the upcoming festivities. A report by Samuel Boachi, Chairman Team, Adventist World Radio. The 2024 Shepherds International Retreat, hosted by the Northern Ghana Union Conference, serves as a beacon of empowerment and spiritual rejuvenation for pastors' wives and ministerial secretaries. Under the theme, I Will Go, chosen for mission. This retreat signifies a renewed commitment to service and solidarity within the Seventh-day Adventist Church and beyond. The retreat convened about 300 pastors' wives and ministerial secretaries from the Union, alongside representatives from Bono Regional Coordinating Council, Sibos Principal, Northern Ghana Union Conference President and Executive Secretary. Aimed at uniting shepherdess, the event provided empowerment, revival and socialization opportunities, offering respite from their demanding schedules. The Bono Regional Minister, Honorable Justina Owusu Banahine praised the Seventh day Adventist Church's contribution to national development, particularly in the sectors of education and health, urging other denominations to follow suit. <laughs> She is to resemble and the image of Christ. You as a shepherdess, as a sir, who said Christo. Now we are so dear, I did not as a phone. Oh, be a show. Papa was on old preaching, oh, be just of mommy. So for mommy, Cassie, now who fat here, now who see a sea, only a nipa and tell and uncle as a phone tell, wash her, what do you work for so? So you are a helper, like they said. And so behind or beside every successful shepherd, there are shepherdess. In an interview with Hope Adventist News, Shepherdess Coordinator Mrs. Dokas Odonko highlighted the importance of regular gatherings in revitalizing, nurturing, and empowering women spiritually to support their husbands in ministry, acknowledging the challenges inherent in their roles. A lot of um, young people at that time like me, we didn't know what to do with ourselves as pastors. But with continuous meetings like this, meeting the older women who have been in the ministry before us, it has helped us to be able to find our feet in ministry. And so over the years, we, 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 we do this in order to help those who come into ministry every year. Because from time to time, people are employed and then they get married. What will the wife do? So it helps her to find her feet in ministry. Pastor Fred A.J. Ban, the Ministerial Secretary of Northern Ghana Union Conference, noted in an interview that the positive impact and transformative change observed since the inception of the retreat have motivated participants. This year, our theme is, I will go, chosen for mission. So each and everyone is informed that we been chosen for mission chosen to evangelize, to, chosen to reach God's people who are out of the pen, so they can come in and do it together, and then we can make it all to heaven. And so we have, we talk about our financial positions and how we can organize ourselves financially. We talk about social things and we socialize ourselves. And then we, we come to the Bible, look into the Bible. But this year, what we are doing is that we are looking at biblical characters. And these characters are exposed to our women so that they will understand how they can also reach people. If some women in the Bible could do it, they can also do it. In an interview reflecting on her experience, 
Shepherdess Mrs. Daniela Che Bafour emphasized the invaluable benefits of the retreats, urging others to prioritize participation. <laughs> Na abuwa mi bebre, kwa ye faswa ye nini pakasa, kwa ye faswa ye chumba apufro, kwa ye faswa ye pera apufro, ye ba ye itay. E biye meni ya meme huni ya ma bebre, e mpu abuwa mi wadewe ya kwa ye faswa ya titi ye ma, ane ya ni afufro mpu che nyami ya se muno. Abuwa mi bebre, na mi mo mi jidi se, ye se nchine nka mfona mo, mo tada wo kasu, ube kase wu mtu mo. Na mi mo mi bebe mo se, bebe biya ye be kode, wwa e kodwa abu su be sine, mpre mpe edi wata su wa wwa. Na mi mo mi se, ni nina ye, Asofo hiyere no mukabo mjume diye ye nshie mwia ye kwe Na nyame na mnado mnene mpeni mfuwa so chile chile Eni dewea umusu faso etu ye suba ye wongono Eno na mimo mde mjidi se abuwa mie nei Ye kose shepede siya minye eni jie pa Na mebuwe minu yanuma fufu mpuse Ona wabe ya juma mfufu wase umi na mukabo Na nye bie kwa yibe shuye bibi a powerful word as such. Moving on, the Seventh day Adventist Church of Awushi is up to commemorate its 30th anniversary in the forthcoming days. Over the weekend, the church unveiled its anniversary logo in anticipation of the milestone achieved through determination and sacrifice. Adventism in Awushi has a rich history, beginning in 1995 with just 13 members through the dedicated efforts of the women ministry of the official town SD church it started as a Sabbath school branch today it stands as an independent church a testament to its growth and success with a membership over 300. this remarkable journey is a source of pride for all who have participated in an interview pastor robert botry ahia the head pastor of the church acknowledged the challenges encountered since its inception and emphasized the significance of reaching the 30-year mark. He expressed the church's intention to showcase the Lord's faithfulness in the world and extend invitation to all who have been part of this journey. Um, the church will be 30 years coming the coming year. And we have planned that we want to showcase the church and then also all those who have passed by Awoshi Church, we want to invite all of them to come back. It's like a sort of a homecoming that will all come back to see what they started and where it has got to. And one of our main aim for the anniversary is to finish our church house. That we will be able to roof it and then move in into the church on the day of anniversary. So that is our main target. And then also to be able to get the backsliders, those who have gone back, want to invite all of them to come back. And again, the food they tasted, we want them to retaste the food again, see that there's a different thing. Elder Seth Insia, the designer of the anniversary logo and chairman of the anniversary committee, illuminated the symbolism behind the logo and its significance in representing the essence of the milestone achieved. A report by Gordon Desmond Sakite. Namia Dumwa was church, 30th anniversary, no. Logo, a general power, no. Said the year who was screening, so no. You who 30, I did not say you didn't feel every assa. Now 30 months, we had the account of four, a DFM, a DM, so said it be a digital home, a year the three inches message. Above for me and San Cransem, no. Said the Abia 30 in the moon, a tresser, a fiat, we are sacred to Minano. Ye Krasaji Dinum, above for me and San Cran Semino, and yet the Nam, and then the Nam Swamas of Ren, you never saw Ben Pensway. And a local Musunubo say, Ya, ya, a coin be pathway. I had that the theme that I say. Pathway is where Calogo no, no, Edna, a yet the journey of the church, the life journey of the church. As a full outcome to a year true, as a full only, I have fifty and a bedroom, I wish ya, ye free be a heavy, and a bedroom, and on a tree. A general Emma Sadi and I said, You're too kind, everybody in Abaha. So I was church now. Congratulations to the Awoshi Seventh day Adventist Church. Let's go for a quick break. We'll be back with the rest of the stories.
Welcome back from the break. Your reminder that Hope Adventist News is brought to you by Angels of Hope. To support Hope Channel, you can be an Angel of Hope by dialing star 928 star 32 star 104 hash on your phone and follow the prompt. You can equally send your donations to Hope Channel Momo account number 02491-930. Three. Moving on with the rest of these stories, the Seventh-day Adventist Church of Asawinso Central in the Western North Ghana Conference was vibrant with excitement and anticipation as Adventist students convened for a momentous celebration. They gathered for a special day of fellowship and handing over ceremony and a musical concert marking a significant transition in leadership as outgoing executive passed the baton to newly elected ones. The Western North Ghana Conference Nazun comprises of four chapters. Wastinko Chapter, Enchinko Chapter, Blacko Chapter, and Asafo NTC Chapter, representing five tertiary institutions and over 26 second cycle schools. The PCM director emphasized that the conference unifies Adventist students under one umbrella, the Western North Ghana Conference NAS and PCM Zone, to prepare them for Christ in winning souls during and after school. Annually, the zone executives are decided and balloted among the various chapter heads. The occasion serves as a farewell to the outgoing executives from Wastinko and a welcome to the newly elected executives from Enchinko. During the handing over ceremony, PCM Director Pastor Patrick expressed gratitude for the dedication and support of the outgoing executives and encouraged the incoming ones to go the extra mile. The outgoing president, Mr. Enoch Amwako, highlighted their positive contributions and acknowledged the challenges faced to come this far. He urged the new executives to strive for Adventism and PCM. In response, Mr. Johnson Ebenezer, speaking for the incoming team, accepted the mantle and promised to work hard to yield good fruit. Friends, presidents, I am very grateful for your trust in me. I want to express my deepest appreciation to everyone who plays an active role in this. First of all, I want to thank, thank our PCM director, Pastor Asamoah Patrick Elion, for your active support throughout our journey. We appreciate you, Pastor. Another thanks goes to my amazing team for your dedication and hard work. None of this would be possible without you. Together, we will strive to make a positive impact and bring our meaningful change in the Western North Ghana Conference Zone. In his sermon, Asawinso District Pastor, Pastor Hayford Kwame Yeboa, urged the students to be fruit bearers following the formal celebration. Attendees enjoy fellowship and musical concepts featuring various singing groups. When you all have roots, you can't bear fruits. So, who did you hear? Who did you hear? And it is like a democracy. When we for the brain, go on the set, on the bomb, on the on the deep, yeah, they will sacrifice their social interests and count no cost to be to take care of you in your institutions. So they are back to the years. We are expecting, sir, a rather than one, a summer day and a student. The event was a joyous celebration filled with gratitude, hope, and anticipation for the Western North Ghana Conference NAT's future. The congregation looks forward to continuing its journey of faith under the leadership of the new executive to strengthen its community further. A report by Evans Asante Mensa, Western North Ghana Conference. I know we all have flashback during our senior high school days. Congratulations to the newly elected leaders. And in the news, to nurture the holistic development of children, the Seventh-day Adventist Church in the Teman North District organized a three-day vacation Bible school, VBS, from March 29 to the 31st. The theme, the puzzle 
derived from the parable of Jesus Christ, centered on Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6, which aim to deepen children's relationship with Jesus and equip them with valuable life skills. The VBS provided religious moral education, skill training, Bible stories, music lessons, and others. Children were immersed in lessons of obedience, kindness, mercy, love, and compassion, alongside practical activities like sewing, cooking, and arts and crafts. The event fostered spiritual growth and equipped participants with skills for the future. The VBS received a highly successful turnout with enthusiastic participation from children and adults alike. Attendees expressed joy in learning and fellowship, highlighting the event's impact. You can see they are doing a lot of beautiful artworks. I'm going to be speaking to this beautiful lady sitting down. Hi, Ansi. Hi, my name is Mavis Comson. Today we are doing uh, cut and paste. So first, this is our template. That this is our template that when you, you have to color, after coloring, you are going to cut. Then we are going to come out with a beautiful artwork like this. So I'm here at the sewing class and I'm with this beautiful lady. Hello. Hi. Please, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Ruth Adoma and a teacher of the one who is sewing, the sewing class. I'm the madam of the sewing class. And today we are coming to sew bag bag we have started with the tutorial and we are on it so we are on the process of sewing the bag so this is how it's being done we have started with it we have now cut our piece of material and we have we have now stiff it so we are on the process sewing the bag they share their insights including lessons learned from the good samaritan story showcasing the depth of their engagement children were educated on luke 15 verse 11 to 32 which centers on the parable of the lost son the importance of this story lies in this message of repentance forgiveness and redemption the parable of the good samaritan from luke 10 verse 25 to 37 was emphasized teaching kindness and compassion in an interview with madame dinah the district coordinator for tema north district she expressed satisfaction with the three bs turnout and engagement she emphasized the importance of instilling values of obedience kindness and apology noting their significance in children's life we organized Vacation Bible School to help our children to learn about kindness, obedience, and how to say I'm sorry. We taught them all these things so that it will help our children to learn. And then they will practice it in their lives and they will grow and become more like Jesus. We had some non-Adventist um, children from our vicinity and we were happy to see them. They were very happy and we know that they will also use it in their lives. I want to say a big thank you to Pastor Bule, our district elders, and then our host church, come to 12 elders, for hosting us this year's Vacation Bible School. We also thank our sponsors. A lot of parents sponsored our program. We say a big thank you to you all. And my teachers, you also help our kids in their various activities. We say thank you. And may God bless you. To help instill more information and understanding in our young ones, the Temanot District of the Seventh day Adventist Church invites all parents to join next year Vacation Bible School. By investing in children's spiritual and holistic development, the church aims to empower the next generation to live lives of faith, service, and purpose. A report by Kezia. May our younger ones be empowered by the Spirit of God. So this is where we end the news. But before we go, let's take another look at our headlines. Ghana Adventist Choir Union launches its 50th anniversary celebration. Northern Ghana Union Conference holds 2024 Shepherdess International Retreat. Awoshi Seventh-day Adventist Church unveils anniversary logo for their 30th anniversary celebration. You can be an angel of hope in spreading the word of God. All you need is by just dialing star 928 star 32 star 104 hash on your phone and follow the prompt. You can also send your donations to Hope Channel Momo account number 02491 93083. 
You can watch Hope Adventist News and all other shows and programs on our YouTube and Facebook page, Hope Channel Ghana and Hope TV Ghana. Remember, you can also reach us on our WhatsApp line 0559-68066 or our email at hopetvghana at gmail.com. Keep watching Hope Adventist News. Stay safe, stay powerful, stay happy, and stay tuned for the rest of our programs. Thank you.